Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how we can try to repair and reset the Microsoft Store in both Windows 10 and 11. And um, this is in case you are experiencing any issues or problems while using the Microsoft Store on both operating systems. Now, um, some issues could be you are maybe getting errors or the uh, store is failing to open and launch, which was the case uh, um, on my Windows 10 device a couple of months ago, or maybe you are battling to install uh, certain and different apps from the store. So um, you can uh, go through these steps um, in this video to try and um, repair and reset the store if you have any problems regarding the Microsoft Store on both Windows 10 and 11. Now, um, you can follow the steps uh, in this video for both operating systems it's, as it's a very similar process. And what I would suggest, first of all, is to head to uh, the uh, settings menu, head over to your apps, and then apps and features. And this is where uh, all your apps and software are listed that is installed on your device. And just scroll down to the Microsoft Store listing and entry, Microsoft Store, and then go to advanced options. And um, just head down to where you see uh, repair and reset. Now, the first uh, thing I would suggest that you can try to do is repair uh, the app. So it says uh, if this app isn't working correctly, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. So none of your data will be lost. And this is what I would suggest that you try uh, first at first. And um, it's just to try and repair the app. And that could and should, in, in, in most cases, sort any and minor issues out and you can actually follow the steps um, to repair and reset in this video for any app for that matter um, on both Windows 10 and 11 to repair and reset using these two options uh, in the apps apps and features advanced options um, uh, menu and then if the repair doesn't work uh, then it says if this app still isn't working right reset it reset it the apps data will be deleted and um, just take note though that all your data will be wiped and it's basically going to reset the store back to its original uh, default state. So all your data and information will be lost. Um, but if nothing else is working, then resetting uh, the store will fix most problems um, in most cases. Now, what I did a couple of months ago on my Windows 10 device, um, which I'm actually going to suggest that you try um, um, if you are having any um issues with your Microsoft Store as my Microsoft Store on my Windows 10 device was failing to open and I cleared the cache to resolve the issue and it's quite simple to do. So um, if you don't want to reset um, the Microsoft Store, uh, you can use um, the uh, wsreset.exe tool, which is a command you enter into the command prompt, which will clear the cache and then launch the Microsoft Store after the cache has been cleared and that should fix uh, most problems regarding the Microsoft Store. So um, to do this we need to use command prompt and I would just uh, suggest maybe just doing a search on both Windows 10 and 11 and once you get to command prompt I've just saved it for quick reference in my start menu. You need to launch command prompt as administrator so you right click on it and run it as administrator and then you just enter this command wsreset.exe which is Windows Store Reset and then um, what this is going to do it's going to uh, uh, clear the temporary data in the cache and then um, it's going to launch the Microsoft Store and after that relaunch then um, that should resolve any issues pertaining to the Microsoft Store. So once you've entered um, the command you must hit enter now and I'm not going to actually physically show you because of that because um, I've got nothing wrong with my Microsoft Store but you'll get the general idea by the end of the video so once you've entered wsreset.exe you hit enter and then you're going to see a blank uh, window for a, you know for an indefinite period of time and um, it may take a while for the tool uh, to clear uh, the cache of, of the Microsoft Store so um, you're just going to have to be a little bit patient and wait till it's complete and then once um, the tool has reset the cache and cleared the cache uh, the tool will close automatically so um, uh, command prompt will close and then the Microsoft Store um, will launch then automatically and that should have resolved any issues that you were experiencing uh, prior to clearing the cache and um, resetting or repairing the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.